What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just got Superman in, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to crack him open, and then we'll take a closer look of him and the Justice League fully completed. Well, without Cyborg. Alright, so getting them all out of the packaging. Wow, man, it's a really light figure. It's a really light figure. Um... The right part of his cape that goes uh, into the chest, it seems like where it actually holds the cape is a little stretched out. I mean, I'm gonna be putting a custom cape on him so I can adjust that once I actually take that off and work with it. I can, I can fix it, I believe, but it was a little disheartening. Now I'll show you a close up, but I just got him out with his red eyes. They're glowing right now. Doesn't look like it's showing up too great on camera. I'll do a close up. It's nice, man. I like it. I even like the regular head sculpt too. I just put this on here so I could show it real quick before I take it off. But it's nice. And that's the part of the cape I'm talking about right there. I can maneuver it up, but when articulating it kind of comes back down. When I put a custom cape in there, I can glue the suit up more. But that's a little disheartening. It looks like it's a little stretched out right there, but I'm not gonna fuss over it. So what a remarkable figure that this actually really is, man. The body underneath, he has chrome plating so that it feeds through the suit and that you can see it, which enhances his features through his shoulders, traps, his abdominal, all throughout his chest, his legs. You can see all these striations coming through. And it actually just looks really, really beautiful. So I love that they did that. I think they actually did that for the BVS suit too, if I'm not mistaken. Now, as you can see, I do have his laser eye sculpt on him. This is obviously what took so much time for Hot Toys to actually release this figure to the public because they were working on a mechanism that would allow those eyes to light up uh, without any sort of cords or cables or anything like that with it being inside of the head. Now, I'm a little bit confused on that because I felt like one of the Terminators, the Predators, although I know that the Predators, they do have a line running from the actual sculpt, uh, usually to somewhere uh, to the armor on their body, uh, to their back, shoulder, something like that. With this, it had to be absolutely hidden, concealed, and you couldn't see it. All right, so I dropped the lighting. He has these beautiful bluish green eyes. And Hot Toys, they did an amazing job. I think the sculpt is pretty damn good as well, man. Some people, they don't think that it's very accurate. And I see this sculpt a lot, drown it out in light. So the camera's gonna be shaky for a second, but I wanna show you something. I'm just gonna simply turn down the brightness on my camera. And we're gonna create shadows in the sculpt so that we can bring out its full definition, right? So bear with the shakiness. Now just dropping that down, not even half, a quarter of the way we can see that it's starting to create shadows from the sculpt and it looks better, right? We can go a little bit more, maybe to half. So about right there. Now I think personally <laughs> that that looks really, really good. I think that does look like Henry Cavill. Uh, that's just my opinion. Often, and I've said this probably a lot uh, in my videos, people will drown the sculpt out in light and say that it looks like shit. And, and maybe it does drown it out in light. You know, some some head sculpts, you get really, really lucky and it'll look good no matter what lighting you have it in. Other sculpts, you have to get it in the right lighting to get a feel for how it its real potential. So always light from above. And also, if I adjust this back to normal, I take the light and I go farther away, you can see that it'll also create those shadows. So you have the eye sockets darker, but it looks really, really good. It looks really, really mean. It looks like some type of scene off the movie. So yeah, always adjust your, your lighting accordingly. Always light from above, never from the sides or anything like that. You always wanna have your main light source from above. And then if you wanna light um, other aspects of the figure, you can bring in additional lighting, but I think that your main source should always be from above. And that way you can bring out the full potential of the figure because when I got him out and I was really looking at it, I was like, man, I, is this sculpt accurate? You know, like, is it dead on? And I think, I think it's pretty close. Dead on, maybe not. 
but you can get it to look really, really good. You just gotta have the correct lighting. So a look at the extra sculpt here with his laser eyes. This is great, man. I really like the way that this looks, but I have it drowned it out in light uh, to see all the little vein detail that they painted on going around his eyes. That looks beautiful, man. Great contrasting. I love it. It's not too saturated either. I think it looks great. So if I bring down the balance a little bit. Okay, so see, see what I mean? Uh, I did a couple photos with this guy and I didn't even turn on the head sculpt for the eyes to light up because they painted the actual detail on there or they put decals on here, whatever, to where, you know, it's not just all red. They may, you, you can put this head sculpt on and you don't have to have it lit up for it to look good is what I mean. Um, and when I took photos of it, I didn't even light the sculpt up. I just went in uh, Lightroom and adjusted the eyes to make them look like they were lighting up. And it worked better than actually lighting the sculpt up uh, just by having light reflecting off of it from the photo. So it looks really, really dope, dude. I really like the sculpt. I'm half-assed wanting uh, to display him with this, but I think I'll just keep it close by and for photo ops and stuff like that. I'll put so them I on. know that the cape is not it's not everybody's favorite for Hot Toys or for this uh, specific Superman. But in my experience, only having Batman figures with capes as a reference for Hot Toys figures, this is a lot better than those. Uh, and what I mean by that is like, it, it drapes uh, better than the Batman capes that I have at least. But with it being pleated on the ends, like here and here, um, it should fall a bit more proper and maybe that's my fault for messing with it and it just maybe needs to be fixed or ironed or steamed or something like that i don't know but it looks decent that being said i would prefer i th i kind of want to get a wired cape for this guy at first i was thinking a drape cape but if i have him displayed um like you know in the air which i kind of want to do i would like to have the cape floating and I think that that would look really, really good. But as far as it just being a stock cape, man, um, it doesn't bother me too much because it, I can actually get it to look decent, uh, which is kind of hard for me to do with my Batman figures. Okay, so here is Superman lined up with the rest of the league minus Cyborg. But I don't know if anybody caught the Justice Con uh, little snippet of uh, Zack Snyder's he, he showed that scene of uh, Alfred working on the Aston Martin where Superman walks up uh, and Superman had on his black suit. He also said yesterday uh, that the DC fandom that's coming out in August, they're going to reveal, uh, there's going to be more scenes showed, maybe a trailer, and the official name for the Snyder Cut uh, release that's going to premiere on HBO Max. So I think down the road, especially with all the hype around this, uh, Hot Toys will end up making that cyborg figure and even I think they'll make the black suit uh, Superman. Maybe we'll get, you know, a, Lo a Lois Lane, uh, uh, maybe a dark side. That'd be awesome to get a dark side figure. That's that's a stretch. Uh, but I mean, it depends, man. If, the, if it's super successful, I don't see why they wouldn't, you know, if it's profitable for them. And I know that the majority of the community that collects DC figures, they want the cyborg. You know, they want a black, uh, black suit. Uh, Superman, I almost said Spider-Man. Um, so I know that with Darkseid being in the movie, they would definitely want that. I don't know if people would be interested in Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. I mean, I would. Uh, you know, if he looks better than he did in the theatrical release from a few years ago, uh, yeah, if Snyder's looks better, his Steppenwolf, I mean, then yeah, I'd be down to get it um, for sure, you know? So hopefully down the line, I will be able to add Cyborg in here. But this is like the first uh, set that I've completed from Hot Toys. Like I, I don't have all the Dark Knight Rises uh, trilogy figures, Dark Knight Rise, the Dark Knight trilogy figures. I don't have all of, you know, the Keaton figures from uh, the 89 movie and Batman Return, like, or Arkham. So this is like the first set that I've actually completed from Hot Toys. I don't have none of the Avengers or anything like that. Like you guys know, I'm a DC guy. Um, so it feels good to have all of these and actually complete this because they really do look amazing together. And I, I definitely think that the Snyder Cut is going to be a banger. I think it's going to be really, really good. So I'm happy that I went ahead and assembled them. And if it's not, then it's not, you know, but at least I have my little, you know, cinematic Justice League. And for what the movie was and having Batfleck in it, you know, Gal Gadot, Henry Cavill, 
I'm happy that I have this lineup. Whether the Snyder Cut is everything we want it to be or not, I'm happy I have them. And it's definitely something I want for my collection. No regrets. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for the video. I will have more on all these figures soon. I want to do something. I want to do like a... I, I don't know, like a action figure photography video, do some uh, displaying, and so on and so forth. I just, I've been sitting on this figure for quite a while from the start of what you watched to the end of this video is like two weeks. So uh, I just, it's a long story. <laughs> you know, it's life. I wanted to get this video out, show it to you guys, and we will be revisiting these very very shortly especially when we get all the custom capes in and everything like that we'll do some displaying some reposing so on and so forth so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you made it this far please hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already we are very close to a thousand subscribers and we will be giving uh, away a hot toys figure so you know i i kind of want to get an opinion on what the mass majority of people want you know um and i'm still figuring out how to collect that data so uh yeah, that's going to do it for now, man. Thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, I do appreciate it. I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe out there. Till then, peace.